Yeah. My trunk won't open. Can you fix it, please? Okay. down like sometimes if you press down and then maybe hit it it'll work but it won't no no that's broken there goes that and let's see what we got to do to take this apart start out by taking off the little rubber stoppers And fry it off the plastic. Looks like the grab handle's got to come off next. Those are a Torx bit, 220. There's two little metal washers under there, so don't lose those. From here, looks like the carpet piece just pulls down. And that exposes the back of the light. This is the plug for the assembly. Now then, there's two 10 millimeter nuts to remove the brake light assembly. And then the whole assembly pops out. Now I want to test to make sure that we actually have power coming up to the switch and that everything works. So here's the gray plug and I'm going to jump it with a small terminal. So that's working. So it's just the button that's bad. Now the only place that I could find the button itself was at the dealership. And it's made in USA. This part will run you a little under 50 bucks. To remove the old light, simply twists counterclockwise, slides out. One of these slots on the side of the hole is larger than the other, so you have to line it up. Okay, turn it in, and it's locked in place. So now we're just going to reassemble it in the opposite order of what we took it apart. I got it upside down. Reinstall your plastic bits. And don't forget to throw your rubber nubs back in. does it. You want to give it a shot? Thank well, you. You're welcome. That's one off the list. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing.